Hello and welcome to today's video. I am really excited to share with you how to insert hyperlinks into your designs. Um, these can be used in a lot of various designs. Probably though, the most common would be to use it in a PDF. And that's what I'm gonna to demonstrate today because I think it's what people uh, probably use them in most frequently. But I also want to um, explain some things that I see probably the most common mistake as well, all right? Before we get started, I do want to encourage you to hit that bell and subscribe because I publish a new episode every Thursday and I certainly don't want you um, to miss out on those. And I almost always include a free download and this week is no different. And so as you're thinking about working inside Canva, since this is a Canva tutorial, does it ever feel like it's just a time suck. Like you're like, oh my gosh, you know, I enjoy it, but it just takes so much time. And I think one of the most common um, quotes that, that I truly believe is true is time is money. Okay. So if something is taking you too much time, it's, it's costing you money. And I, I truly believe that, especially as an entrepreneur and even more so, as a solopreneur, when we're working alone and we don't have a team, um, or maybe you have a small team like I do, but you don't, you know, you're not able to outsource very much, then yes, it has, your time is, it, it costs you money, right? So what I've done is I've created a free download for you, which is my 15 favorite post templates for Instagram. This is my favorite. Uh, my, some favorites in carousels, quotes, infographics, promotional posts, and faceless reels. And each is a design that has been created by a canvas, Canva creator. Plus, they are all 100% customizable, so you can easily adapt these to work for your brand. All right. And as a bonus, I've actually included my current Instagram posting plan for you. Plus, I recorded a little video tutorial that's going to guide you with quick tips for easily making these templates your own. I'm actually going to show you inside this uh, particular free download as a demonstration today for how to include hyperlinks. Maybe you're thinking, well, what is a hyperlink? Well, I'm going to show you that too. So you can grab uh, your free copy uh, of my 15 favorite Canva templates at the link that's here on the screen. We'll also drop this below the video for you. In case we've not met, I'm Kathy Schneider, and I have been an online entrepreneur since 2001, helping solopreneurs elevate your game with streamlined workflows and organized habits. I do this so you can maximize your productivity because I am all about helping you spend more time doing the things you enjoy with the people you love and not working every free minute of your day. All right. So let's jump over to my computer and inside my Canva account, and we are going to dive into inserting hyperlinks in your design. All right, so we're inside my um, inside my Canva account. I'm actually inside my folder where I have all of my freebies. I think I have eight freebie downloads now, um, currently at the time of this recording. And like I mentioned, one of the ones I want to show you how I use hyperlinks is inside this particular download that I recommended you grab. And that is my 15 favorite Canva templates. So um, you can see this is just a design inside Canva. So as I scroll around, you can see the different um, elements slide out, right? So I'm going to scroll on through. And the first thing I want to show you is on this very first page here of this, which I think is really... a incredibly awesome way to be able um, to insert a hyperlink is what I've done here. I say, before you dig in, watch this super short tutorial that I recorded for you on how to get the most out of these Canva templates. Just click the computer screen image below. So you see it's a video tutorial and I have the little YouTube thing here, which I got just by going up here to elements and then just typing in YouTube logo, I think is what I did. I don't know. Yep, I probably did. Or I might have done YouTube watch now. I might have just done watch now. I don't know. Let me see. Yep, here we go. 
So I, I created this months ago, like many, many months ago. So can't remember exactly what I typed in. But there we go. Here's one here. Watch now. So if I drag this over, you see that's all you do is drag and drop. So if I can shrink it down and make it the size of this one, that's all I did. All right. That's what I actually did. But then I want to show you. I'm just going to put it up here for this tutorial so you can see how what to do with this. So let's just say, let's jump over to my YouTube channel, which I don't have pulled up, but I can do that right quick. <clears throat> it's one thing when you're working with hyperlinks, I'll be honest, I didn't think about the fact that I was going to hey do there. that for you. Yeah, yeah. Honest. So what I was going to say is what you want to do is you want to make sure you've got the windows open for anything you're going to hyperlink. Okay. And so, um, I would actually need that particular video, which I actually have hidden um, because no one can see it on my YouTube channel unless they have this document and they have the link to click. All right. So I can't demonstrate that particular one for you. But what I want to show you is how you would do this. So let's just say we were doing um, let's just go to videos. And let's just say that we were going to do um uh, which one can we do? Let's do this one right here, just as an example. I'm going to mute this if it's not. Hey there. Yep. Okay, let me stop it. And then what I want to do here is I would click the share button. I would grab this link right here. All right. So I've copied it and that's that link. And then I'm going to go back to the design and I would click on this link. Okay. And then I would click these three little dots and I would click on the word link and it's going to pop up for me here. And I'm just literally going to paste in and then I'm going to click done. So then it shows me right here that the link is in there. Right. And so I know it's done and then I can hit done and I, it's done. OK, so now this one, if I were to click on this as a, you know, as a download, say I downloaded it and I clicked on it. Here, I'm going to have to click up on the actual link because this is not downloaded. But if this, if if I had downloaded this document to my computer and then I clicked on this link, watch what happens. It's going to take me to this video hey where I copied the link. All right. So that's how simple it is to do that. All right. So now I certainly don't want to leave that there. I'm going to go ahead and delete it. So this down here takes you to that. To make sure that my reader doesn't get confused and think that the link's not working. My 15 Canva templates plus all of this down here, those are all linked as well. So when you click on this, you can see there's the link. You click on this and there's the link, all right? Plus if you click on this, um, there's the link, all right? So they have it for all of that. The reason I did it this way was because I wanted to make sure that they were able to access that no matter where they clicked inside this computer screen. Okay, so that's one example for you. Now let's go on down and I'll show you another example. So on the carousel post, for example, when I created these three templates that I wanted or found my favorite and wanted to share them with you, I literally wrote out the word carousel template one, two, three. Each of these is actually linked where it's shared from my Canva account. That's how easy it is to do that. Now, what I want you to notice, and this is very important, is that this is not, for instance, let's just grab this text here and let's put um, a text bar right up here. Let's make it a little bit smaller. And I'm gonna do, um, what, one, template two, template three. You cannot, for example, if I click this and then I click more and I hit link, by doing it because it's all in one text box, I can only put one link in there. So even if I highlight template one and then I click this little link because I've highlighted it, it's gonna pop up this way for me. And I can, let's just say I put the same YouTube link as an example in there again. Okay, it's done. But look, two is not hyperlinked. So if I do two and I change it to a different link, it changes the links in all, everything within this text box. Okay, so you'll notice where this is one text box, 
these are one, two, three separate text boxes. Does that make sense? I hope it does. So again, I'm going to delete this because we don't want it there, but that is very important. And that's probably the most common mistake I see people make is they'll create one text box and they keep changing the link in different places within. Well, what they're doing is they're wondering why their first link didn't hold. It's because they changed it. So you've got anywhere you want to create a hyperlink and a hyperlink remember, is just a link that takes you to wherever you want to take someone, whether that's to your blog, to a YouTube video, to a, uh, a template in uh, Canva that you've created. It doesn't matter what it is. Maybe it's to your sales page for your membership that you've created. Maybe it's to your latest course that you've created. Maybe it's to a product that you sell with your network marketing company. It doesn't matter what it is. Whatever that link is, you've got to have only one link per text box, okay? You give as many words as you want but you can only have one link per text box. So if you want to put multiple links in, you've got to create a new text box each time. All right, quote post. This you see is one. All right, it's one because I, I connected them all. It's, it's, um, it's hard to explain without showing it to you, but what I'm saying is inside Canva, they only needed one link. All of those are part of one link. These um, are, it says here, to, exactly, all three are together with the number one link. I was actually told people that because I didn't want them to get confused, but I was telling them, hey, I'm giving you three infographic posts, but they're all together with one link. So it doesn't matter which one they click, they're going to all be there together. Promotional posts, they're all together. Faceless Reels, you'll see they're individual. All right. Now, another thing I want to show you is this is another way to use hyperlinks. Here, you can hyperlink images or you can hyperlink words. So for instance, these are more free resources that I provide for people inside this free download, okay? So tell them, come join our community of high-performance solopreneurs. Join the free HPS group. If they click there, it's gonna take them to that group, okay? Mastering What Matters Weekly blog. If I want them, if they go to this link, it's gonna take them to my blog. YouTube. If they click this, it's going to take them to my YouTube channel. All right. So that is another way. These are actually words that are hyperlinked. See, there's the link. There's the link. And there's the link. All right. Now, another example, and I think this is really important. You, like we did with the um, logo for YouTube, here are some logos for the other social account, accounts. So you can link to these. Plus, out to the side, I always think it's good just to let people know, hey, this is what the link looks like. You don't need to do that for everything, but I think it's nice to do that um, if you have the space where you have um, your social media sites so they can see that it's, oh, Kathy Bright Schneider. So if they get over there and maybe they, for some reason, they don't click here, but they're searching, then they know what to go search because sometimes people don't click the actual link. They just look and go, oh, where, where is she on Instagram? Oh, Kathy Bright Schneider. Okay, I can just go find her. And they just jump on their phone and, you know, off they go. All right. So that's an example there. I also wanted to show you this particular one, which is the six um, tiny habits free guide. Uh, you can get this one as well. It's a free download. We'll put the link below this video. In this one, you'll see it's just everything here is information for my reader, for my the people that are on my email list that have downloaded this. Okay. But I do have a link here where they can get on the wait list to my membership. And so this all, be, everything like this links to that, um, this links to it. Plus I went ahead and put the link there as well spelled out. So again, this is another option for, like I mentioned, if you have um, a membership you're trying to direct people to, this is a bonus telling them, hey, you can get the special pricing for only $7 if you get on the wait list. And so this is what that's for. And then again, I just copied this page and used it again for the other free resources. And that's there. Plus, of course, ways they can connect with me um, through my other social media sites. All right. And uh, the way you do that, you can, you know, if you click on, as an example, this one, and then I'm going to go, we'll see, let's do Instagram as an example. So I unclicked these so I could show you as an example. So then I'm going to click these dots 
and I want to click link. Okay. Um, oh, let's go up and grab it first. So here is my Instagram channel. I'm going to copy this. Now I'm going to go back to this guide and I'm going to click on Instagram and I'm going to click link and I'm going to drop that link. Ah, it's not dropping in there. It's a second. I need it to drop right here. We'll try again. Let's make this go on up. Link. Well, I don't know why it's not doing it. And link. Link. I don't need that. Okay, let's go up here and click on this. Go back. There we go. This is the workaround, okay? You can see, sometimes it gives you trouble. You just have to go cre create the workaround. So by clicking on the little um, folder up here, the little tab, it opened it up. Now I can click done and done. And now this is actually linked, okay? Same for YouTube. I can click the link link for this, but I'm gonna go up to YouTube, click this, I'm gonna go to the home page, silence yeah. this, and I'm gonna grab this link, go back to this account, and drop it in here, and hit done, done, all right? And I could do that for all of um, those. I, like I say, disconnected them so I could show you how that works. So I hope that you found this helpful and it makes sense. If you have any questions, you can certainly drop them below this video. And I'm happy to answer any questions that you have whatsoever. And as a reminder, make sure you grab those free Canva templates. Um, we'll drop the link below. Remember that I've included my current Instagram posting plan. Plus, I recorded that video that I showed you inside that computer screen, remember? You can click there and watch a tutorial that's going to guide you with quick tips for easily making these templates your own. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, then hit that bell because I publish a new episode every Thursday. And in the next one, I'll be sharing another tutorial all about Canva, how to add gradient in Canva text. This is a fun one. So I'll see you in the next video. And remember to keep challenging, keep learning, and keep growing.